right, what's up guys? I'm pretty stoked about this. There's this taco truck that usually posts up over on 18th Avenue. There's a park over there. But the special thing about this taco truck is that it's a Guatemalan taco truck. I've only had it once before, but the tacos that I got were mad delicious. Like really, really good, like beef tacos. Unlike any tacos I've ever had elsewhere because they're Guatemalan. So as it turns out, this Guatemalan taco truck has posted up right at the end of my block. I don't know if this is like just a one night only thing or if this is gonna be like a new permanent location for it. Either way, I got to check it out, get a couple tacos, and uh, share this with you guys because it's really cool and something you can't just find anywhere. So let's check it out. There it is. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, we're eating good tonight, man. We got the Cuban tortas, torta chapin, and the taco chapin. And of course, you got some chucos right there. See this on the left side, that's my side, the Mexican side. But today, today's about this side, the chapin side, man. Yeah, we're getting those tacos. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Could I get um an order of the taco chapin uh, with beef? Chapin or Mexican? No, chapin. Chapin? Chapin, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gracias. Yeah. I, I told the chapin, she actually seemed kind of surprised that I wanted them that way, but that's the way I had them last time, and that's the way that's like really more unique than most places that you can get around here. You know, most of the spots, of course, they're Mexican. But as I've been telling you guys, there's a really burgeoning Guatemalan community in the area, in Bensonhurst, Bath Beach, where they originally settled, coming out through uh, Sunset Park, so. You know, because of that, it's, you get stuff like this. Yes, sir, this is it. Busy corner, 65th Street, 14th Avenue. You know, nights like this, where like a new taco truck shows up at the corner, they just make my month, man. They make my entire month. Yeah, so the last time I had this truck, you know, I've been seeing it for years at that park over on 18th Avenue, for years and years, and like every time I would go buy it, like I just wouldn't be hungry at the time or wouldn't be in the mood, you know? I would just always pass it off. And then one night, I actually went and ordered some of these tacos as part of filming for this little Guatemalan series I've been doing for you guys. And um, dude, I was just blown away. I got three of the tacos chapin with beef, same order I got today. And I was just blown away with how good these tacos are. Put them up against any Mexican tacos, your favorite Mexican tacos. They're completely different, very unique, but just as good. So I'm really excited for this. The smell of that, the meat that they're cooking up in there, starting to waft through from the window that they got, starting to fill up the air around here, man. There's magic happening, there's magic in the air right now. I'm so excited for these tacos. I cannot wait, and I cannot wait to take them home to Katie, because she's gonna love them too. All right guys, I got my bag, taking them home right now. About to see how they are, how they compare to the first time. Right. Just got the tacos from La Taqueria Blanquita. So I'm really excited to try this. It's always funny trying something the second time because you're always wondering if it'll like live up to like the amazing experience you had the first time. Right, let's get a first look at these guys. <laughs> yeah, so um, first glance, these look very similar to what I have in my memory from the last time I had them. The first thing that stands out to you as like a distinction from Mexican style tacos is all the uh, cabbage that they have layered on top of what's inside the taco. And then of course you have the ricado sauce layered on top of that. Ricado is like a tomato based sauce that the Guatemalans basically put on everything. It's in like almost every dish. If you saw my episode about El Camal Chapin, a restaurant over on 18th Avenue, you could see in them many of the dishes that they that I had over there, they had the ricado sauce, you know, incorporated with it somehow. So you can see the cabbage and with the ricado on top of it. I can make out some really nice like grilled onion right here, uh, like really, really like caramelized, cooked down greatly. And what's really standing out to me right now and what I'm really excited about is that these tortillas look pretty clearly homemade, like handmade. These aren't prepackaged and bought at the store. These tortillas look legit. Guatemalans have tortillas just like Mexicans, but their style tortillas are thicker than Mexican tortillas. And so that gives you like a different feel in the mouth when you eat something like tacos like this. Anyway, enough rambling. Let's get to eating these. Squeeze a little bit of lime right there on the first taco. And then my wife's coming through with the salsa. So we're gonna layer some of that. Oh yeah. Radishes. I can smell the um, the tortillas, actually. That's what's coming through right here. Look at that. that that's, a, that's a handmade tortilla right there. No doubt about it. That is a handmade tortilla. There's so much stuff on top of it, like I can't even like make out the beef that's in there. It's somewhere in there, you know? Let's get our first bite. Mm. Mm. So the thing is, I've had Guatemalan tacos before from other like 
trucks, restaurants. In most places I've, I've had them, I found them lacking. And I, I chalk a lot of it up to, you know, I'm part Mexican by heritage. So I'm used to tacos a certain way. And so I think in most places, when I had the Guatemalan style tacos, you know, I'm a little bit let down. But the tacos from this truck live up to some of the best Mexican style tacos I've had anywhere. This. What I'm experiencing right now, this is a very, very good taco. Doesn't matter whether it's Mexican or Guatemalan, anywhere, this is a great taco. A true work of culinary art. It's, it's messy, you know, this is a messy experience. It's getting all over my hand. You got salsa all over the thumb and all the cabbage just kind of like spills out. The ricado kind of like oozes everywhere. The tortilla is like, you know, just falling apart in my hand. It's a messy experience, but it's a delicious experience. Mm. I'm about to finish this, and then it's your turn, because I want to know your opinion. You, meaning my wife. <laughs> I want to know what she thinks about these, because I, I want to see if she agrees with me. These are really, really good. Yeah, don't sleep on this. Whenever you're in Bensonhurst, 18th Avenue, it's possibly now 65th Street, come to this truck. La Delicia Taqueria Blanquita. It's a mouthful, but so are the tacos. They're really good. Ooh. All right. What do you think, Katie Sue? What's the verdict? Yeah, I told you, man. Fire, right? There's a lot going on, mm -hmm. but it maintains like this lightness. Yeah. Which I think it's like the tortilla, even though it's thicker, it's light. The cabbage makes it, there's like a refreshing aspect to the cabbage. Uh huh. Yeah, that's a great point. Yeah, it's not heavy at all. Especially considering like chucos. Uh huh. They're very heavy. It's a monster of a sandwich, the chucos. And, and so to me, this looks like. A taco. In taco form, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not it's so different, it's very good. The beef is so good. Yeah, I don't think I even talked about the beef. These tacos are so good that like, the beef, which is like usually the main attractor here, was almost like secondary, because all the other components are just hitting. Ba 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 ba. Every it's single so one of them are hitting. My only complaint? Yep. What's the critique? You need more salsa. More salsa? Yeah, it's often the case. Guys, if you've never had a Guatemalan taco before, one of this caliber, you are missing out. Because this, this is something truly extraordinary. All right, guys, that was my little impromptu adventure. I wasn't planning this one, but, you know, when I saw the truck posted up there, I had to show you guys because, you know, this is one of a kind and it is magnificent. If you like what you saw, please hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. And I'll see you guys next time on Vinny Eat World. Stay hungry, guys.